All right, so um, you collect the gas and it's found to be non-ideal, which the following is uh, more uh, likely the case. So again, if you're talking about something being non-ideal, you're probably talking about something being big or something being polar, right? So what do we have here? We have C6H14. Now, they didn't give us a structure for that, but we don't even really need it because we know it doesn't have F, O, or N, so this is definitely going to be nonpolar. So if it's going to be nonpolar, then it's probably non-ideal because of its size. And again, C6H14 is a fairly large molecule. So we're looking at a size-related one. So my first one here is not the right answer because the strong intermolecular forces is really not the case because this guy here is nonpolar. Uh, same with the last guy here, strong intermolecular forces. That's not what we have. This guy is nonpolar, so he does not have strong intramolecular forces. What this guy has is this guy has size. And if he has size, what that means is that it's going to deviate, and you're going to end up with something that's either got higher pressure or higher volume than what you would expect because those particles are actually taking up space. And so <clears throat> because those particles actually take up space, it looks like this guy's your best answer. It's going to be that the volume is slightly larger than you would expect because of the size of the molecules. A larger molecule is not going to uh, make for a smaller size of the gas.